Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Jennifer Marie, where I talk about tips on how to become a work from home freelancer. So when you do a job for a client, you often will want to send them an invoice. And PayPal is a great option because there's a sense of security both for you as a freelancer and also for the client. PayPal is a trusted company and they make it really easy to send an invoice. And the client you work with does not have to have a PayPal account in order to pay you. They can use any major credit card. So step number one is to open up your PayPal account. And there are a few different ways to do this. This is an updated video in 2024 because PayPal has made some changes. So right here under actions on the homepage, you can see create an invoice where you can put the customer's email, item name, item amount, and send it or add more details. But I like to do a more detailed invoice. So I'm going to click here on invoicing. Here you can see a record of invoices that have been sent, paid, canceled. Once an invoice has been paid, you can see this little green button. So to create an invoice, just click create invoice at the top. Make sure to adjust the currency if you're getting paid in United States dollars or another currency. And you can also choose the template, amounts only, hours, or quantity. I'm going to leave it as amounts only because I'm sending them a bill for a specific amount of money. Over here, you have your invoice number. You can change the invoice date. Maybe you want to send an invoice in a couple of days. And you can also choose when it's due on receipt, if there's no due date, on a specific date, etc. Usually I leave it as on receipt and if they pay late, that's okay as well. At the top here is also a space for you to add your own logo. So if you click on this arrow, you can add logo, remove logo, or edit your business info. If you click edit business info, you can change your business name, and you can select whether or not you want your address, phone number, or email address to show up on the invoice, and then click Save. So now under Bill 2, you can either put the email address you want to send the invoice to, and if you don't have an email address, that's okay, because oftentimes you have to send a link to the invoice because the payment department might be different than the person you are working with. So here you can type in the email address. You can also add a new customer if you think it's a customer you will be working with long term and put in more customer information. And if it's just a one-off job, just put in the name of the company. Once you do this, you'll see that there's a tick button that says items will be shipped to. So if you are planning on sending a physical item to someone, you would add the address in here. In my case, this is a service on the computer. It's not a physical item I'm sending them. So I'm going to uncheck this box. And you can see that that has unchecked shipping as well from the invoice. So we don't have to worry about adding any shipping costs. Now we're going to put in our item. You can put in one item or maybe you have multiple items you're going to do and you can categorize them separately with separate amounts. So then put in your item name, maybe that's a voiceover, video editing, and then put the amount of money. Remember to select the correct currency. If you're only going to put one item, you can remove the X's. Then you can put in a message to customer. You might put a note related to whatever service you provided for them. Maybe it's a link to a video you created or just some additional information. Oftentimes when you're working with a client, you'll need to put in the address as well. And if they request that, you can just click edit customer info and then put in more information about the business and then click save. You can also click add terms and conditions if there's anything else you want to include. And you could also add a reference number as well. If we go to more options, you can upload an attachment. Perhaps this is more proof of the work that you did. And you can also include a memo to yourself, maybe some more information about the client. And over here, under payment options, you can allow for a partial payment. Let's say I wanted to allow this client to pay me $250 at the beginning 
and then they could pay the other 250 once the job has been completed. I could put that here. I could also put the minimum due amount. There's also an option to allow a tip. And once you're finished, you can click here on preview. And this is what your customer will see. And you can see that the available payment options will vary depending on your customer's location. The client could pay via PayPal, Venmo, with a debit or credit card. And you can see the information of the client and the items. So from here, you can click this edit button if you want to edit the invoice. You can send it and that will send it to the email address you put in or you can click on these three dots here and click save draft if you want to save it and send it later or share link to invoice. And this is the option I usually choose. So I'll click copy link and now you can see this invoice has been added to my list. It says shared, but I haven't actually sent it yet. So now I can go ahead and email this link to my client asking them to pay it. And this is what it will look like for my client if they open it up on their browser. So they have an opportunity to add a tip if they want or just go ahead and pay the invoice. So now I quickly want to talk about PayPal fees. When I give an invoice for $500, I won't be receiving $500 exactly. PayPal does take a commission. And this depends if you're using a personal account, a business account, the country you're in. So to figure out what the fees will be for you, you can go to the top and if you have a business account, hover your mouse over business and then click here on fees. And this will give you some ideas of the standard rate for receiving domestic transactions or international transactions. There are also some other fixed fees as well. And if your client pays with a credit card, there will be higher fees. So I'm going to show you an example of a client that I have in China. They paid an invoice for 400 US dollars. You can see it's completed, but you can see here that PayPal took a transaction fee of almost 16 US dollars. So I received $384 of the $400. I'm assuming this client paid with credit card and because of that, I had around a 4% fee. And this fee is higher because this was an international transaction. Domestic transactions are lower, but that just gives you an idea of the kinds of fees you can expect to pay with PayPal. However, it is what it is. PayPal, of course, is going to take a commission and it's a platform that allows my clients to feel safe and it's just the cost of doing business. So I hope this video helped you guys out. If you have any questions about how to send or create an invoice on PayPal, let me know in the comment section below and make sure to check out my other freelancing tutorials and PayPal tutorials by clicking on the link in the description below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.